Hello gardening friends, welcome to the Calyx Garden. I'm Thelma and I'm standing here in the food section of our garden and by now regular viewers would know that in addition to the ornamentals we're very serious about producing as much food as we can. Now that's relatively easy for us to do because we have the space but for those of you who may not have adequate space that should not stop you and in this video we're going to feature one such young gentleman who has some serious constraints, but that has not stopped him. He has established his garden in a series of rather small spaces in the urban townhouse in which he resides. Now, what I also find inspiring, which is why we decided to feature him, is that he too is on a mission to convince as many persons as possible to grow as much food. So he's been talking to the residents in the complex and in due course we are anticipating that he too will have the kind of success that the Calyx channel is having. Now, I am sure you'd want to encourage his efforts, so keep watching. <music> Welcome back and thanks for staying. This is Johnny, his wife Cassandra, and their son Alex. Johnny started this food garden in the very small space at the front of their townhouse in summer 2021. Johnny is very clear why he started this garden. This is his way of combining his passions for family life, food self-sufficiency, and a safe, healthy environment. He is using his tiny plot in the best way possible. Absolutely no pesticides or man-made fertilizers. It's completely organic. Plus, no space is wasted. His style of planting mimics what occurs in nature. Let me get Johnny to identify some of these plants and to explain to us why he selected them for his garden. Please excuse the background noise, which unfortunately was unavoidable in this urban setting. This is uh, over and it's edible. So. Oh, so you eat the pods? Yes. Right. No, I, I eat the leaves the and leaves. the pods. Okay. You the pods, yeah, yeah, yeah. The pods, I once in a while I'll eat in salad or something. But usually I, I let things go to seed just so I they can come again. Come again. Yeah. Right? And then when I need space for planting, I just pull it up. Oh, yeah, but I wasn't suggesting you do that. No, no, no. <laughs> but but I, I, you see, I have a smaller one here, so I'd rather have the smaller one suck up the energy instead yeah, of the larger yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I just put this back as, as mulch. As mulch. Or I throw it in the compost depending on how dirty it looks. Mm -hmm. What else is there? This is this when is do you eat that beet. one? Okay. Right. So okay. I eat the stalks and stalks and beet but you eat it in the and the yeah yeah like I eat these like Swiss chard right mm -hmm. whatever what else is here that's edible um, the salvia is not edible <laughs> we have, why do you have salvia uh, just for that the color? just for the color and I like the color okay and then and these are our young squash, squash. pollinator uh, okay. plants that we've added in mm -hmm. this is wild bergamot wild onion Okay, wild onion. Oh no, sorry. These ones are blanket flour. Okay. Oh yeah, there's there's oh, yeah. zucchini's fruit in here. So far this morning, he's reaped zucchini, beets, and potatoes. Not bad. Johnny has even managed to uh, convince his neighbors on both sides to allow him to tend to their small plots. I'm sure they don't mind having someone volunteer to do the work for them. I asked Johnny to give me an idea what he's done so far on his neighbor's plot. And this is what he had to say. I prune this one mm -hmm. and, and, the other and, one. and the other one. Yeah. And it's the most bl blossoms I've ever seen this So year. they have never, they weren't pruning it all along? No, 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 no. Okay. No, this was all bush. Mm -hmm. This is a weed that just never got cut down. 
And of course, in addition to looking after a f- the few ornamentals that are there, Johnny has established the same collection of plants that he has in his plots. He's established those on the neighboring plots. So even though it's a very small plot, Johnny is able to reap quite a few things almost on a daily basis. What I observed is as he goes along, he does everything at the same time. He looks at his plants, does a little weeding, a little mulching, and of course, little Alex is his constant companion. A garden is a perfect place for this kind of father-son bonding. And if you start off early enough, chances are you are creating the next avid backyard gardener. Hey, Alex, I'm going to check you out in about 15 years and see what you're up to. Johnny is quite keen to have the food garden concept expanded throughout his entire residential complex. And in this the second year, he's actually started uh, doing the similar thing in two or three other areas, which he's keen to show us. He is trying to establish cultivation in a few areas that border the common section, but these areas have not been tilled in quite a while, and the soil is really rather heavy. So he first has to do some soil amelioration. And the good thing about it is the maintenance crew and the rest of the neighbors don't seem to mind his efforts in these areas at all. This nasturtium, when I ask him why is it there, he says he's using it as a bait crop. And things like leaf miner and I guess other insects are attracted to the nasturtium and stay away from his crops. Johnny wants to show us his enclosed back garden. This back area is shaded both by the buildings and by some tall trees. He had a few plants growing when I visited. We have asparagus. This is the raspberry we just planted from from pot. Mm -hmm. But it had some berries from from the nursery on it. Mm -hmm. Some tomatoes that are struggling. Mm -hmm. Another squash. I think this is a pumpkin. But what I find really interesting is that Johnny's efforts seem to be having a ripple effect because as he's showing us now um, the neighbors on the other side of the building who have recently started to grow their own crops when i started this two years ago it's like oh they're gonna just cut everything down i stopped growing blah 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 because i'm too old i don't want to do it anything and now she's got she's back seven, into it she's back yeah. into it several pots What I commend Johnny on is his family approach to gardening. I mean, take a look at this. And from what I could tell, most of the fruits are consumed right in the garden. I really like how Johnny involves Alex in his gardening activities, don't you? From the looks of it, young Alex is going to be an avid gardener. And maybe at this point I should advise you, full disclosure, Johnny is my nephew and he lives in Toronto. So his gardening um, activities really are just limited to the few short months of summer. Thanks, Johnny, for allowing me to do this video. And all the best in the months ahead, especially since you have a newborn to deal with. Now... I hope you liked this video, and if you did, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed already, please, we're looking forward to you subscribing and to encouraging others to subscribe. So until the next video, I'm Thelma in the Calix Garden saying thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.